we would be looking at another problem today and uh, that is the water jug problem and uh, this problem states that uh, we are given two jugs of uh, capacity jug 1 capacity and another with jug 2 capacity and uh, we are allowed to perform these three operations that is at any point of time we can fill any of the jugs and at any point of time we can empty any of the jugs or we can pour the content of one jug into another or vice versa and uh, this way we have to find if we have we are given jug 3 and jug 5 we have to find can we have a capacity of 4 so that is it about the problem and uh, now let's get on to the interesting part of uh, finding out how to solve the problem so let's assume like uh, we are given uh, two jugs of say capacity 3 and another jug of capacity 5 and uh, there are let's say one unit of water in each of them so what are the operations that we can perform is that we can either fill the jug of capacity 3 to its brim and leave the uh, content of the other jug as it is or we can do the operation vice versa as in leave the content of uh, jug A let's say this is jug A and let's say this is jug B so leave the content of jug A as it is and fill up jug B uh, to its brim or we can empty a uh, jug A and leave uh, jug B as it is or we can leave jug A as it is and empty jug B or we can pour the content of uh, jug B into jug A and whatever content is left in jug b or uh, we can do uh, the opposite so these are the six decisions that we need to uh, have at any point of time to understand if we can uh, reach the target uh, so now uh, let's uh, see uh, if our target is four how we are going to uh, reach to that so we are uh, going to first fill up uh, we are going to start off with two empty jugs and then we are going to fill up jug B with five and then we are going to pour the content of jug B into jug A and then jug A will be filled to its uh, brain and what will be left out of jug B will be two and uh, then we empty the jug A uh, uh, and uh, I'm sorry we empty jug A and leave jug B2 as it is and then we again pour the content of jug B into jug A and uh, whatever that is left of jug B, uh, B then we fill jug B to its brim and we have 5 and then we pour the content of jug B into jug A we will have 3 and 4 and then at the end we empty jug A and we have 4 so the total would be 4 and we would be able to reach the target so that is uh, the total decisions uh, so if we are going to build the decision tree initially it will be like uh, we are starting off with two empty jugs then we have a decision of either filling up jug A jug B or jug A and from here what we can do is then fill up uh, jug A leave jug B as it is or pour the content of jug B into jug A and empty jug B and we have to see like again we are getting to that point of start so we are not going to follow this path we are going to check for this and this now I'm trying to not build the whole thing so from 3 and 2 we can again empty the 3 and leave 2 as it is 
or there could be another of like leaving three as it is emptying the two and similarly and the path goes on so you're getting the idea right so yes that is the whole uh, problem now we have been able to understand the decision trees and how many uh, decisions at each node there would be we can now map out the problem I'm going to use uh, breadth for search uh, I can later build uh, another tutorial on depth for search it is the same so to create a breadth for search we just uh, build a stack and while our stack is still not empty we are going to continue and that is the uh, like the breadth for search so what is the what is the root we are starting off with it is always zero zero right so I'm starting off with the stack of zero zero now all we need to do is get the jug one and jug two uh, content from this stack and get the total now we have to uh, we also need to check if it is visited because once we are at uh, zero we don't have to go back to zero so uh, if uh, let's say if the is in and visited then we are going to just continue the operation and we are not going to go beyond this and uh, the other part is that if the total is equal to the target capacity then we are just going to return true and uh, if at the end of this operation we, we are going to return false now we have to uh, fill up the decision tree with this stack so the first decision is fill up jug a so stack the to fill up jug a it is it will be the jug one quantity and continue with the jug two value now let's fill up jug b it will be the present quantity with which jug a is continuing and it will be the capacity of jug b now we can empty jug a so in that case it will be empty and jug b will continue with the present quantity or we can just continue with the quantity of jug 1 and uh, empty jug b now we have crossed these four decisions so our uh, last two decision is that pouring the content of jug a into jug b and vice versa so to do that we have to uh, check if the total value is uh, exceeding the quantity of jug one capacity and if the total is exceeding the capacity we will have something and if the total is less than or equal to a uh, jug one capacity uh, then we can just have the total quantity into jug one and uh, 
what will be the jug two in that case it will be zero because uh, all the quantity of the total is less than jug one and if we pour the total quantity into uh, jug one it will jug one will have the total quantity and it will be zero so similarly if total is squared then jug two capacity we have to figure this part but we know like if total is less than equal to jug two capacity then again it's pretty easy we will have a empty uh, jug a and jug two will hold the total so now let's figure this part out so if the total is greater than jug one capacity then how much uh, jug one can hold so jug one will be filled to its brim right so in that case the jug one will be having will be filled to its brim and uh, what is the capacity jug two will be holding would be uh, whatever content that jug two had previously minus the content that is poured into jug one to fill it to its brim so to initially jug one had a content of jug one so when we fill that jug one up to its brim we poured this amount of content from jug two and that is what jug two will be holding presently and jug one will be filled to its uh, brim similarly uh, for jug 2, jug 2 will be filled to its brim and what is the capacity that jug 1 would be holding is whatever uh, the capacity it had before minus the capacity it lost to fill jug 2 to its brim so that would be the jug 2 capacity minus the initial value of jug 2 so yes that is it let's hope that there is no bug that i introduced into this and uh, cool let's run it Uh, it is good and uh, I'm just getting some final check okay so I have made a huge mistake uh, that is I'm checking the visited but I never appended to the visited so every time uh, I need to append jug1 and jug2 now hopefully it would be a little faster Sorry. Cool. So as you can see our solution runs though it is not the brightest of the solution but for an easy understanding I built it uh, like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks a lot.